Now, when we come to philosophy, the role of attention towards one's object of concern governs what one finds. If one is concerned with knowing one's object in philosophy and being truthful to it, then it de depends very much on how you attend, what you will find there. If attention is absent or present, if it is detached or engaged, if it's alienated or empathic, broad or narrow, sustained or piecemeal, it has the power to alter whatever it meets. And since our consciousness plays some part in what comes into being, the play of attention can both create and destroy, but it never leaves its object unchanged. So how you attend to something or don't attend to it matters a very great deal. The altered nature of attention, as we see with organic right hemisphere deficits, can appear to abolish whole parts of the world, collapse time and space, eviscerate emotion, and render the living inanimate. Attention is a profoundly moral act.